पाइडेवेसेट्स नाम के इन पक्षियों के इस झुंड ने हजारों किलोमीटर की उड़ान के बाद दिल्ली के एक तालाब पर डेरा डाला है दिल्ली के रिहायशी इलाके और औद्योगिक क्षेत्र में ऐसे छोटे छोटे कई तालाब हैं जो अधिकतर प्रदूषण की मार झेल रहे हैं बावजूद इसके ये तालाब ऐसे पक्षियों का बसेरा बन रहे हैं इस तरह की शहरी जैव विविधता अक्सर नजरअंदाज हो जाती है राष्ट्रीय राजधानी क्षेत्र में तकरीबन 400 प्रजाति के पक्षी देखने को मिलते हैं एक हालिया शोध में सामने आया है कि इनमें से 37 प्रतिशत पक्षी शहरी इलाकों के तालाब पर निर्भर हैं। शोधकर्ता पांच एकड़ से कम में फैले जल स्रोत को तालाब मानते हैं गूगल अर्थ सैटेलाइट से मिली विभिन्न मौसम की 10 साल की तस्वीरों के आधार पर शोध के बाद शोधकर्ताओं ने दिल्ली में पांच वेटलैंड की पहचान की है शहर के मात्र 0.5 प्रतिशत इलाके में छोटे तालाब हैं लेकिन ये इन दिनों चिड़ियों से गुलजार हो रहे हैं द आइडिया इज टू ट्राई एंड लर्न अ लॉट मोर अबाउट वॉटर बर्ड्स एंड द हैबिटेट्स एट देयर इन सो पॉन्ड्स आर सॉर्ट ऑफ अ नेचुरल सेगवे इनटू दैट बिकॉज़ दे आर वन ऑफ द लीस्ट स्टडीड इकोसिस्टम्स इन द वर्ल्ड and the least studied wetlands in the world as well and when you further sort of narrow your lens and go into urban ponds then that is a subject that's almost unstudied outside of the developing uh, outside of the developed world we did not expect such a large variety of birds and such a large diversity of birds to still be existing in such small water bodies because the water bodies that we ended up visiting were as small as 0.2 hectares and went up to all the way to 5 hectares so being being able to count such a large diversity was a matter of great excitement for us because this was also the first study which did a city wide estimation of bird diversity using ponds inside a city prakritik se lekar kritrim jal bharav wale chhetra sabhi chote bade pakshiyon ko aakarshit karte hain इनमें ऐसे भी पक्षी हैं जिनकी आबादी तेजी से घट रही है सो मोस्ट ऑफ दीज पॉन्ट्स आई क्लासिफाई देम इनटू थ्री कैटेगरीज फर्स्ट द नेचुरल पॉन्ट्स व्हिच हैव मैनेज टू सरवाइव द अर्बनाइजेशन एंड स्टिल कंटिन्यू टू रिमेन इन दिस सिटीज second are constructed ponds which are specifically constructed for some kind of human purpose so maybe it could be agricultural or maybe it could be uh, recreational purposes and the last are accidental ponds which serve no purpose which got created maybe due to over flooding over sewage water being collected in a place or rain water accidentally getting collected in a place so these are the three kind of ponds that i witnessed The third most interesting site I visited was an unnamed pond accidentally formed by a nearby canal in the Munka industrial area. This site had a high diversity of ducks like the migratory northern shoveler, gadwal, the northern pintail. I also observed a range of waders including the threatened bartel goatwit alongside these huge flocks of ducks. This pond had the highest number of birds among all the sites that I visited. so these ponds we previously did not know that uh, ponds are also uh, a very important place for such a large number of migratory species so we had nearly 30 40% of our of the bird list that we had were migratory species and that's a huge proportion to have inside a city so deliards are very lucky in the sense that they are part of this evolutionary phenomena of migration where the birds have not stopped using the ponds of delhi for whatever reasons that uh, you know some of the reasons we have come out uh, explorations in the in our study but there is still a lot uh, to explore in the sense that how come migratory birds are still able to find uh, delhi's ponds to be a place where they can spend the entire winter or perhaps to use it as a partial stop so places like that are very critical in not just conserving our own diversity the resident uh, species but they are also very critical in making sure that these uh, global scale phenomena like migrations can continue into the future so as information like this gets enhanced and as it gets more and more available uh, for cities like delhi and hopefully other cities in the country as well 
I am hoping that it will percolate down into the management where people will be able to see the pond for what it is and not for just being a garden or just being an entertainment space, but having an add-on element of inviting our feathered friends, a large majority of whom in the winter are from outside countries because India is one of the major uh, countries along the Asian flyway, the Asian migratory flyway. दिल्ली और राष्ट्रीय राजधानी क्षेत्र या एन में 1970 से 2014 के बीच मुख्य रूप से अतिक्रमण निर्माण सीवेज और ठोस कचरे के प्रदूषण के कारण 38 प्रतिशत वेटलैंड खत्म हो गए हैं दिल्ली के शहरी विकसित क्षेत्र का विस्तार और शहर की आबादी बढ़ने से शहरी तालाबों पर दबाव बहुत अधिक है भी पहले ये पेड़ पौधे दाए बाएं नहीं थे हैं लोगों का आवागमन था चारा गा था ये तो यहाँ मतलब पशु करते थे गाय वगैरह करते तो भी कुछ शुद्ध जल होता था यार तो कपड़ा मतलब यूँ रख के मुंह के नीचे और जल पी लिया करते इतना शुद्ध जल था उसके बाद ये गंद गंद आ गया तो द्वार का बनने के बाद जो है ना ये गंद हुआ ये तो सफेद पानी होता है द पॉइंट इज वी आर ऑलवेज लुकिंग अप एट साइंस टू रिजॉल्व प्रॉब्लम्स लार्जली थिंक अबाउट दीज वेटलैंड हैव एग्जिस्टेड विदाउट यू नो वेस्टर्न साइंस और यू नो वाटर केमिस्ट्री साइंस दे हैव एग्जिस्टेड ऑन देयर ओन एग्जिस्टेड विद द नॉलेज ऑफ पीपल living in outdoors so what has gone wrong is a connection people have with these systems if you care where well, your shirt is always sparkling green your wetland is it you are disconnected these uh, you know uh, these ponds these johards where your life where your colonies your, your rituals everything was around these wetlands and then suddenly you have piped water supply once you have piped water supply agar pani mere ghar mein 24/7 aa raha hai why should i bother about this is to why not fill it up create more you know apartments which give me more price so attitudes change behaviors change and if we can get this connection right i think things will start improving in terms of vulnerability yes they are pretty highly vulnerable anything that you do so stop the inflow since the volume is not very large it will die on its own or take out too much of ground water even if you don't uh, you know tap the surface flow take out too much of ground water the water levels will recede so they are very sensitive in that matter but on the other side the opportunities of re- rejuvenation are also the highest you don't need a very complex project you do certain things right the pond would come back if you ensure that water flows are clear if if you ensure that pollution is treated if the, if the boundaries are maintained everything would be fine everything would be fine so vulnerability yes but also high opportunities that is what i will say yaravel aur team ke anusar vibhinn sthaniya aur sarkari nikayon dwara ek talab ke prabandhan ke upar iska upyog karne wale pakshiyon ki sankhya aur vividhata nirbhar karti hai udaharan ke liye beautification ke naam par talab ke kinaron ko concrete se paat diya jata hai इस वजह से पक्षियों के लिए वह जगह नहीं बचती ऐसे में सेंट पाइपर्स जैसे पक्षी वहाँ नहीं रह सकते इन्हें खाना खोजने के लिए कुदरती तौर पर बने गीली मिट्टी वाला इलाका चाहिए so what we would uh, look at in terms of management would be to leave the marshy and to leave the muddy area alone for you know a couple of meters if possible 5 to 10 meters so that the pond ecosystem itself can uh, be proliferated and it can help with bringing in birds that are attracted to the pond rather than to the vegetation on the site so wetlands have been sort of a second child in indian conservation and also a lot of conservation efforts worldwide which is uh, perhaps part of the very important part of the reason why they also are one of the most endangered habitats in the world there is so little attention given that in india for example we've had only one national exercise for mapping wetlands and that exercise has um, 
more or less excluded any water body that was less than two and a half hectares or five hectares in size, and those are mapped only as what is known as point uh, mapping. So they are not really traced out in the sense of the shape and the form. Wetland का आकार चाहे बड़ा हो या छोटा, विश्व भर में यह खत्म हो रहे हैं। उनके खत्म होने की रफ्तार जंगल के खत्म होने की तुलना में तीन गुना अधिक है। वेटलैंड्स किसी भी आकार के हों हमें पानी देते हैं, बाढ़ से रक्षा करते हैं और वन्य जीवन को आश्रय देते हैं। शहरों के विस्तार के बीच हाशिए पर मौजूद शहरी वेटलैंड्स का अध्ययन हमें शहरी योजना बनाने में मदद कर सकता है। इससे प्राकृतिक स्थानों और वन्य जीवों का कम से कम नुकसान होगा।